don't have any past lives. You are an incarnation. You are a life. And the entity that has past lives is not you. It's not your current ego identity. It's not this personality. And this is something that I've talked about and I will continue to talk about because everybody puts past lives and spirituality into the context of me, you, right? Like there's this thing going around about avoid the reincarnation trap. Like when you leave your body, that there's a way to get out of the trap of reincarnation to renounce it, to be like, no, I don't want to go back. Um, don't go to the light. That's a trick, whatever. But who is this you that is being instructed on all of these things? Well, that's the incarnational personality, the ego. And as soon as you leave the body, that pretty much goes away. I mean, there's always an imprint. It never completely goes away because it's part of your heritage. Just like things that happened to you when you were one year old don't go away. Uh, they become part of you. And every life that a soul has also becomes part of that soul. So it is the soul that has past lives. It is not you that has past lives. And this is really an important point because, and a really exciting point actually, because when you reincarnate, It's not you reincarnating. You go back to the soul, and the soul then has another incarnation. Which means when you do past life regression, you're not just seeing your past life. You're going to the soul and then seeing another life that your soul has had. So it might seem like a trivial little point that I'm making, but it's not because my main point with this is that doing past life regression really helps in the growth of the person in terms of connecting to the soul. It could be argued that the whole spiritual journey is to upgrade your identity from ego to soul. Does that make sense? Upgrade your identity from the ego, the illusionary character that you are playing in this one lifetime and upgrade it into the soul, which is your eternal nature, your eternal self, your self that is connected to all that is in ways that you cannot imagine. Another way to say it is to download your soul into your body and kind of, you know, the idea of turning your life over to God or something like that in, in a religious term would be the same kind of thing. So when we think of it as like, I have all these past lives, what happens energetically is that the ego is 
taking credit and taking ownership of these past lives. And that's not the most horrible thing that could ever happen in the world, but it creates another illusion that we have to get out of in order to wake up. So when you do past life regression, even if you don't explicitly mean to connect to the higher self, if you get to a past life, you did connect through the higher self. You had to. There's no other way because your ego doesn't have past lives. The end. Okay? So when you go through the soul, you kind of reconnect with it. You are your soul. It is your true identity. But, you know, we have this ego with psychological issues, insecurity and whatnot that we are dealing with. And, you know, that's something that we have to contend with no matter what. But when we do past life regression, every time we connect to the soul again, we create more and more connections between the ego and the soul. To the point where the ego is not freaked out by the soul doesn't go into that fear of losing control and all that stuff, which happens with major psychedelic experiences and spiritual experiences, the ego can freak out. First thing the ego does is goes into fear. And then accompanied with fear, the ego goes into overthinking and overanalyzing. So that's something that ideally we want to get out of that pattern. We want to transcend that matrix. Okay, so one of the reasons for doing past life regression is spiritual ripening. Getting to that point where you're ready to let big chunks of the ego drop off. One way that happens is by clearing issues that are stuck in the ego. Issues like insecurity, issues like all kinds of emotional things, anger, frustration, things that have been with us our whole lives. But, you know, our issues are really based on the false idea that we are not our souls. Not that we go around thinking, I'm not my soul, but under the surface, kind of implied, is the assumption of being cut off from the soul or that their souls don't even exist, perhaps. That's another assumption. Um, so, when you do past life regression, realize that this is a big part. And in my practice of doing past life regression hypnosis, I've found that more and more people are coming me, to me, whether they know it or not, not just for curiosity about their past lives, but actually to tap in to this entity that is their true identity, the soul. And so I'd like you to consider that this is a very powerful technique. If you look at the works of Dolores Cannon, um, which is who I studied with for QHHT, then you'll see all of these mind-blowing stories, whether, whether it's Atlantis, whether it's ancient Greece, whether it's another planet, whether it's a spiritual dimension, whatever. And that is fascinating. 
But in the end, it's just other incarnations. But when we get to that non-physical soul level, angelic level, there are a million non-physical levels, more than I could ever imagine, um, we start making the transition. And the entire earth right now is in the midst of making that transition. So we have the wind at our backs. So if you haven't done past life regression, you might want to consider trying it out. And if you're in LA or New York, you could work with me directly in person. Um, I'm based in LA, but I also work in New York uh, a couple times a year. And otherwise, we can do another method by phone, uh, which is also very effective. So I can help you with that. But otherwise, look for somebody experienced who has years of experience behind them and who resonates with you. Everybody who believes in reincarnation, in my opinion, and I'm biased, I admit it. I have an agenda. <laughs> um, but everybody should be doing past life regression, I would say, once or twice a year. That's what I recommend. It's not something you're going to come and do every week. Unless you're on, a, you know, like we're writing a book about it or something. We want to go deeper and deeper into a story. But for spiritual advancement, once or twice a year, will really prime the pump and it will really accelerate you like almost nothing else in the world. So I think it's important to get the word out to the world that past life regression is not just about being curious about past lives. It is about finding that connection to the soul and upgrading your identity from ego to spirit, which is what you really are. Thanks so much for watching. If you want more information about what I do, please go to my website, www.andysway.com. Thank you very much.